Thought you were buying the paper. Just checking the ponies. Yeah? How did Johnny Walker make out in the fifth? Cut me some slack, Grinch. You know how much stress I'm under right now. It is 8 o'clock in the damn morning. I'll go to a meeting. Right. <sighs> Jeffrey. I really mean it this time. I swear. Oh, my God. Wake female, late 30s. People live in the garden apartment from the first thing this morning. Guy's half in the bag. The early bird catches the hangover. Yeah, it looks like she took a header from one of the hotel balconies. Get the crime techs up there. Check out all the rooms with balconies facing this backyard. Will do. The victim have any idea on her? Uh, no pocket. She was wearing a skirt. All right, thanks. Brody, what you got for us, man? Quick drive by, blunt trauma smorgasbord. Broken pelvis, shattered lower extremities, lots of lacerations, ribcage like a bag full of broken china. Yeah, jumping off a balcony will do that. Yeah, if she jumped, she would have hit that lower roof. What are you saying? She was pushed? I'll know more when I get her on the table, but judging from the trajectory, I'd say, yeah, she had help. So can you put a time on it? Based on body temperature and lividity, I'd ballpark it somewhere between 10 and 11 last night. Detectives, this is Mr. Reitzman, the manager of the hotel. How can I help you? What can you tell us about the upper floors, the ones with the balconies? Those are our executive suites. So much for the golden parachute. I'm sorry, Miss Winslow is not here. I don't know where. Who are you, ma'am? I'm the nanny. Uh, if we could just come in. Uh, we need to talk to somebody about Miss Winslow. Do you know if there's any family we can call? Miss Lisa's sister is here. Why don't you go get her? Thanks. You can wait in here. I hate it when they have kids. You're kidding? It's the worst. Can I help you? Uh, this is Detective Green. I'm Detective Briscoe. Renee Bishop, is there a problem? You're Lisa Winslow's sister? What is it? What's wrong? I'm afraid that we have some bad news. About Lisa? She was found dead early this morning at the Park Terrace Hotel. Oh, my God. She fell from a balcony. Sophie. Sophie? My niece, Lisa's daughter. What am I going to tell her? Is her father around? Lisa's a single parent. What's his name? Where can we get in touch with him? There's no one to get in touch with. Sophie was adopted. Mommy? Oh, Mommy's not home yet. I'll be there in a minute. I can't find my princess doll. I'm going to be with you in one minute, all right? Lorena, will you help her look for her doll, please? Of course. Come, Mija. <sighs> when you're up to it, we're going to need you to come down and identify her. Of course we will. We also need to know where your sister worked. She owned her own business. I think I have her card in my purse. I'll get it. No, please come in while you're out. Thanks, man. Emmy says the DNA on the contact wasn't Lisa Winslow. Could be it belonged to the killer after all. Also found circumferential bruises on her upper arms, contusion on her left hip. That's consistent with being grabbed and pushed off that balcony. I have a problem. <laughs> Join the club. Sean Beatty's alibi just got corroborated. Lisa Winslow's parents are on their way here from New Hope. They want to know why they had to find out about their daughter's death from a news item on the radio. We told the sister she didn't tell the family? According to the parents, Lisa Winslow doesn't have a sister. What? Then who was the woman we met at Winslow's house? We sent a patrol car by to have a word with her. Whoever she is, she's gone, and she took the girl with her. Damn. You have no idea who this woman might be? I'm afraid you're asking the wrong people. Lisa kept us out of her private life. Look, Mr. and Mrs. Winslow, we need to find your granddaughter now. She's really not our granddaughter. We've never even met her. She is precious. Look, we got a lot of people working on this. There's a statewide Amber Alert. If you know anything that can help, great. If not, we're wasting valuable time when we should be out looking for her. Um, about eight years ago, Lisa told us she'd met a woman in Florida, and they were going to adopt a child down there. Said they were going to get married. You know, shack up together. Said they were in love. Broke her mother's heart. After that, we didn't talk very much. 
maybe a card at Christmas. They were living in Florida? Well, after they split up. Lisa moved to New York. That was two years ago. Do you know if she had any friends in New York we could talk to? Anybody she might have confided in? Oh, who was that um, Susan girl at NYU, Paul? Um, Susan Roberts, was it? A... I think they kept in touch over the years. Lisa wasn't the type to pour out her heart over cocktails. Do you know if she was seeing somebody? As far as I know, a uh, few dates here and there, no one special. What about past relationships? She had an ex in Florida, Renee, something I never met her. Yeah, I think we had. They were living in Miami. That's where they adopted Sophie. You have any idea why they broke up? Lisa said they'd just grown apart. Been together something like seven years, didn't have anything in common anymore. Except for Sophie. Yeah, except Sophie. What I understand, Renee was devastated by the split, and so was Sophie. I told Lisa I thought she was wrong to separate them. Renee was Sophie's mother, too. What did Lisa do? Moved to New York, got a lawyer. Do you know how we can find this lawyer? Yeah, I used her for my divorce. Nancy Shapiro, Madison and 53rd. Where is Sophie, by the way? Who's taking care of her? We're looking for her. Renee has her? Renee Bishop, still in Miami, far as I know. Here's her contact info. I'm going to call the squad, get him on it. Why don't you tell me about the custody battle? There was none. Custody battles occur when both parties have legal custodial rights, which was not the case here. Well, it's our understanding that these two women raised the child together. Heather has two mommies. Florida law prohibits homosexuals from adopting. Lisa filed as a single woman. Which gave her legal custody. So, legal custody. So, why hire you? To protect her interests. Lisa didn't want Renee Bishop in Sophie's life. Sophie was adjusting nicely, and any further contact would have prolonged the agony of the divorce. Renee Bishop? Please. Not here, not in front of my little girl. Come on, ma'am, let's just make this easy on everybody. Grandma, what's happening? Don't worry, baby. It's okay, honey. Everything's going to be okay. You can come too, sweetie. No, leave her here with me. I'll take her home. I'm sorry, ma'am, we can't do that. I'm her grandmother. Ma'am, I'm sorry. When we get to the city, social services will take very good care of Sophie. Will I be able to see her? Sorry, ma'am, that's not up to us. We're going to take a little ride, sweetheart, okay? Mommy's coming, too. What about Grandma? Grandma's going to have to stay here for now. You go along with those men. I'll see you later, baby. Bye, Grandma. Bye, baby.